former President Barack Obama said he felt a sense of serenity the day his successor was inaugurated. The first thing that went through my mind was, sitting across from Michelle, how thankful I was that she had been my partner through that whole process, Obama said in a BBC interview with Prince Harry recorded in September, his first interview since leaving office in January. But Obama said his satisfying feeling was also mixed with all the work that was still undone. He told Prince Harry that he still harbored concerns about how the country moved forward. But overall, there was serenity there, he added. Obama's successor, President Donald Trump, has spent much of his first year in office working to undo much of what Obama's administration accomplished in office, albeit with mixed results. Trump has successfully done away with several Obama-era regulations, moves the current president has argued will ease the regulatory burden on businesses and boost the economy. But Trump failed over the summer in his efforts to repeal and replace Obamacare, falling short by a single vote in the Senate. Obama has been mostly quiet since leaving office, steering clear of policy debates with a handful of exceptions, including statements issued in support of his signature legislative achievement, Obamacare, and backing protesters who had gathered to oppose the first iteration of Trump's travel ban. I still care about making sure that the United States and the world is a place where kids get a decent education, Obama said. Where people who are willing to work hard are able to find a job that pays a living wage. That we are conserving the amazing resources of our planet so that future generations can enjoy the beauty of this place. Like we did. Prince Harry, who recently became engaged to American actress Meghan Markle, has grown close with the Obama family as a result of their work together on the Invitus Games, an Olympic-style event for injured military veterans. Their closeness has reportedly stoked concerns within the British government that the Obamas could be invited to Prince Harry's upcoming wedding while Trump might not be, a snub that could worsen relations between the US and Britain. The engagement was announced in November, weeks after Prince Harry's interview with Obama was conducted. But the subject still came up in an exchange Wednesday between a BBC radio host and the Prince, who said the guest list for his upcoming wedding has yet to be hammered out. I don't know about that, we haven't even put the invite or the guest list together, who knows if he's going to be invited or not, Prince Harry said. I wouldn't want to ruin that surprise.